Hello everybody, my name is TJ. My name is Tevin, but I go by TJ. And today we're going to be gaming on my Arch Linux machine. I'm dual boot with Windows, but I am running Arch Linux and it doesn't want to maximize. There we go. Neil Fetch. Okay, so here we can see I'm running Arch Linux 64-bit. Um, I'm running f a bunch of monitors. I'm only recording my main monitor at the time. I'm running KDE Plasma 5.2.5, er, which is just their latest update of KDE Plasma. I'm running the Oxygen theme. I've got it a little bit riced, not a lot. It's not 100% done yet. Um, I'm running just the base console. I haven't really figured out what terminal emulator I want to use. We'll see. Uh, my main GPU is this AMD Radeon RX 5600. I have a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU that's 6 core 12 thread running at 3.6 gigahertz. It's probably turboing. I don't know if Linux does that actually. And I'm using 3.8 gigs out of 32 gigs of RAM. So I have a fairly good setup here. And, uh, you know, I'm running Arch. I'm dual booting Arch Linux and Windows. So I do have Windows, but I'm not using it currently. I'm running Arch Linux. This is not a VM. This is hardware Arch Linux. Um, yeah, so today the plan is, you can see I already have it installed down here, but we're going to walk through how to install the Minecraft launcher and how to install Java and get everything set up so that we can play some Minecraft on Linux natively. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go, let me freaking maximize. We're going to want to go here to the Arch Linux user repository. We're going to go over here. This is a great place, by the way. The Arch user repository is packages maintained by Arch users and updated and uploaded to this main repository that's hosted at aur.arch.linux.org. We're going to go over here. We're going to, go to, we're going to type in Minecraft. Whoops. We're going to type in Minecraft Launcher. This one. The Minecraft Launcher. And the way that you go about installing a package on Arch or from the AUR on Arch Linux, we're gonna split the screen here. Is you're gonna type, you're gonna make sure you have Git installed. Um, and if we look, uh, man dash Q S Git, we can see that right here that I have Git installed. And so then we're gonna go Git clone. We're going to click on this to copy it. We're going to come over here and we're going to use Control Shift V because it's terminal to paste it in. So we're going to paste in the that dot git file clone um, the, that URL. We're going to git git space clone space and then that, that git URL. And then we're going to hit enter and it's going to say it already exists because I already did it. Um, but if you wanted to or at that point what you want to do let's let's in fact let's do it again let's uh make directory uh programs and we're going to cd into programs and we're going to do exactly what i did before we're going to git clone area to arch slash slash minecraft launcher git and then we're going to we're going to ls to see what folders are in this directory that we're in in the programs folder we're going to cd into that minecraft launcher and change directory into that minecraft launcher we're going to go ls now at this point there is something you can do i don't remember exactly how but you're supposed to slash you should verify this package build um i think you open it and look through it make sure everything's right but i already know this works so what you're going to want to do at this point if you after you verify your package build and make sure that it's downloaded correctly and that everything's okay or you, I mean, you don't have to, but you should. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to type make package pkg dash si. And what this is going to do is it's going to go, these are just the dashes for options. The s is for sudo, which, mean, you know, I mean, you need root privileges. And the i is for install other dependencies, things that the Minecraft launcher depends on. So we're going to hit enter, and it's not going to ask me for my sudo because I've already typed it in um, recently. So we're going we're gonna to look through here see we've got we're looking through the the tar file the desktop file 
all the things it's extracting everything making and we're checking for package issues and we are resolving dependencies we don't have any dependencies because I already have everything installed and so we're gonna hit Y enter and it's going to proceed it's gonna install everything reinstall the micro launcher and then we're going to just run Minecraft Launcher, or it will also be over here um, in Minecraft Launcher. Right. We're just going to run this one, and I'm going to log in. And so the Minecraft Launcher, the vanilla Minecraft Launcher on Arch Linux is a little weird. Every time you do it, you have to log in with your Microsoft account, so I'm just going to do that up here so that you guys don't need to watch me log into my Microsoft account. Oh, and of course I missed the letter because I'm not very smart. Um, so then we're logged in right here. And it's as simple as that. The Minecraft launcher comes with its own Java install already... Um, uh, I guess compiled with or built into the launcher and if you don't already have Java installed when you do this this right here this resolving dependencies um, that will find OpenJDK and install it for you whatever you know whatever version you need so you know let me just hit play oh just kidding that's right we don't hit play because my Disk didn't mount correctly. Hang on, give me a second. Why didn't you launch cor or you didn't mount correctly? What the f Oh, right. I, mm. Ah, balls. It mounted to the wrong folder. Hang on. All I have to do is this. Delete. Save. Play. No, you're... That's definitely right. Did it not freaking mount right? All right, well, okay. It didn't. I have it. So my Windows dr drive, I had it um, mounted to my Windows drive, but it didn't mount. My I need to edit my F step file apparently. Make everything mount. So we're just gonna use a default directory, which whatever. Who cares? It's fine. So then we get the the you know the base game, and as you can see, works perfectly fine. Audio's all here. Let me turn the GUI scale down because that's dumb. Turn map map levels off. Always do that. It ruins performance. Map map levels is bad. Um, we're gonna also turn the music down because it's annoying. So I'm gonna turn auto jump off because it's stupid. All right. So let's just make a new creative world. Uh, a little peaceful creative world. Mm, yeah, we'll just do a default. Where have I clicked past default too many times? There we go. A default, uh, just a default basic creative world. Just gonna fly around, check everything out. I'll show you guys. It runs fine. This obviously is vanilla Minecraft 1.17. Um, we'll cover modded Minecraft in a later episode. It's it's quite simple as well, natively on Arch Linux. Uh, but as you can see, you know, everything runs fine. These are just the default settings, render distance at 12, frame rate's limited, but I'm, I mean, I'm getting right at the 120 limit with vSync on. Everything runs fine, everything is smooth, there's no lag. Sensitivity's too high, but that's just, you know, everything works. Oh my gosh, the sensitivity. So annoying. Turn that right down. That might not even be far enough. Significantly better though. Die, chicken! Anyway, yeah, so that's Minecraft. Works fairly well. Nothing more, I mean, really to say here. That's how you know how to install and make the Minecraft launcher natively in Arch Linux. Now, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to we close this out. I have the, the AUR pinned. 
Um, we're gonna close that down. We're gonna clear this. Throw it up at the top, I guess. No, I want it kind of over there. Yeah, we'll just throw it over there. And we'll throw up a Neofetch, just because I like it. If I can spell. Boop! There's my Neofetch. Everything. I'm running this GeForce GT620 just so I can support my other monitors, if you were wondering. Um, yeah, that's OBS. Uh, what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to cover... We're going to try... Try to get Fallout New Vegas running. Um, it's supported in Proton. Mostly. Fairly well. So we're going to give it our best shot. Okay. I had a little bit of trouble with Steam. Proton's a little wonky still for Arch. Uh, and I am here. We'll, we'll, I'll just show you. I am running it. I'm forcing Proton 5.13. Because the newer ones didn't seem to work, but let's just let's hit playing. See what happens. I love this game so much. I, I find it hard to get into for long periods of time and to actually put a full playthrough in, but I do enjoy this game significantly. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. 
Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Of the cutscene worked. Now we'll see if it loads. So far, so good. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Courier Six. Nope. What should my name be? I'm thinking Archie. Because, you know, playing an Arch Linux and all. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Um, I don't really care. I'm just gonna kind of spam the preset button. Ooh, yes. The mutton, the, the, I like that. The mutton chop mustache kind of looking thing. We'll go back to that if that's. Ooh, there's the full gray mutton chops. Yeah, I like that, that, that red head with the. Yeah, that. Sure. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Okay. Uh, click, 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 click. How many points do I get if I leave everything at five? How many extra points? I got five points remaining. Well, then I guess endurance is going to ten. Charisma is a thump stat. Luck's coming up. Intelligence is coming up. And we'll leave the rest alone. Works for me. I guess that explains how you're still alive. You're built solid as an oak. 
Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay. I'm just gonna click spam click. All right. I guess I'm strongly agreeing to everything. I don't. All right, we're gonna pick gun. No, 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 no. I dumped charisma. We're picking guns. We're picking survival. No, I don't care about survival. I'm not playing in hardcore mode. We're picking medicine. No, I don't care about medicine. I'll probably end up playing in god mode because I'm a lazy butt. And yeah, so we're gonna go probably guns, explosives, and energy weapons. Honestly, just damn it. No, I want some lockpick though. Put some points in lockpick. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yep. Skills are gonna take trigger discipline and for more damage. We're gonna take. I don't know what else I should take from my traits. Maybe I should take trigger discipline and fast shot, and they cancel each other out. They <laughs> would literally cancel each other out. Uh, since I dumped uh, uh, guns and melee weapons as my, or guns and explosives, I mean, maybe I'll take the minus five to those since they are my tag seals. We'll see. Works, All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay, well, I'm gonna now I'm gonna do the classic Fallout thing. I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna steal everything you own. So, heck, see, which buttons crouch? Um, I forget which button is crouch default. Sneeze left control, yeah. So, why don't you work? I'll take everything that says take and not steal anything. I'm stealing everything you have, sir. He doesn't care. Oh, a knife, some seeds. We're just cleaning him out. Some cram. Step back, pork and beans. Ooh, ammunition. Man, he really doesn't care that I'm stealing all his stuff. Okay. Oh, I can't sleep in his bed, but I can definitely clean him out without some help. 
take every book he has and every first aid supply and every bullet and every other book that he has Taking your hat, sir. Thank you. All right, I'll clean them out enough. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Nope, no hardcore mod. Alright, at this point, I'm lazy, so it's god mode. Which means, no damage. I don't take damage. I don't run out of ammo. I have unlimited carry weight, and the game crashed. Well, I guess that's that now, isn't it? So that's Fallen to Vegas. It works fairly well most of the time. <sighs> but I honestly didn't expect it to crash. I thought it would work perfectly fine, but uh, I guess not. So there must be some tinkering and clicking around I need to do, but... Yeah, until, I guess, you know, that's probably going to do it for this video. We're going to play some other games. We'll make a whole series of this gaming on Linux. We'll make a whole series of gaming on, or playing Fallout to Vegas, too. Uh, maybe I'll play through the entire game. Again, God Mode, call me lazy. But I am. And I'm not good at shooting things and not dying. So, anyway, uh, until next time, my name is TJ. This has been Gaming on Arch Linux. Do a little Minecraft, a little... Fall at New Vegas, watched a cool cutscene, everything worked. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments what you thought, you know, whether I need to change audio or whatever, you know, just let me know. And until next time, this has been TJ, we'll see you later, bye!